If you want to make some visual changes to a worksheet, possibly to accentuate a certain portion of it or to make titles more prominent, you can change the font type or size pretty easily simply by referring to the buttons that are available on the Home tab in the ribbon. The group called Font contains most of these choices. In this particular worksheet, you might want the title to stand out a bit more prominently. So if we click on cell D1, we could consider changing the font type by going to the Home tab and clicking the arrow to the right of the current font. In recent versions of Excel, the standard font is Calibri. You might want a different font type for the title here. And there's so many choices here, you could, if you're not careful, waste a good deal of time figuring out which one you like best. Now, again, in the business environment, you probably don't want to choose some of these because they are a little bit unusual, a little bit strange maybe. You'll decide whether that's business-like or not. But here and there, a commonly used one is Times New Roman, which used to be the standard font and certain other software packages. And you'll just figure out which one you like best, maybe for titles. Or maybe just use the current font, which is Calibri. Maybe we're not going to change this at all. Maybe all we really want to do is to change the size. And so just to the right of the font name, we do see a size with the drop arrow, and maybe we'll just choose a larger size here. And as we slide over these choices, you'll see the size being depicted right there on the screen. So maybe we use a size 18 font. You can also add emphasis with bold, which is also in that same location, or control B. And here and there, you want to make some changes to bring out the data a little bit more clearly here and there. Now, as we work with other kinds of data too, sometimes it's a little bit faster to get to those features by using what's called the mini toolbar. Maybe we really don't need to make changes here. We might want to make these bold, possibly underline. If you right click the selected cells, not only do you get a shortcut menu, but you also get the mini toolbar. And this contains nearly all the buttons within the font group anyway. And so we can get to them this way sometimes a bit more quickly. Maybe we'll use a larger font here, or while we're here, maybe we'll make it bold, that sort of thing. Again, the idea is not to use too many features necessarily, but to use the features that you think will add greater emphasis to the text here and there. Recognize something here too, Sometimes there are space considerations. If text entries are made bold, they take up more space. Now, usually we don't care about that, but this will take up more horizontal space. If you apply bold to values, the numbers themselves get wider, but the entire entry stays the same width. And that's so the decimals will still line up properly. So if we wanted to make this top row bold, we could certainly make this bold either with Control B or clicking the B button on the Home tab. But the numbers are taking up the same amount of horizontal space, just that each character is wider. There are some other features that we don't see here, some other font characteristics that you might want to consider using. In rows 17 and 18, we see some commonly used formulas. If we want to use a superscript, as we see here, or a subscript, as we see below this in row 18, we can get to these in a couple of different ways. We need to activate what's called the Format Cells dialog box. And you can do this in at least three ways. You could press Control-1. You could press the dialog box launcher, which is in the lower right-hand corner of the font tab, or you could simply right-click and choose Format Cells, any of those three ways. And the Format Cells dialog box has tabs for a variety of features, including font, and here's where we would, for example, see strike through and superscript. Now, if you were typing an entry like that, H2O, for example, you might just type it this way, h two, O, and then select the two. And at that point, perhaps right click in the pop-up mini toolbar. You don't see that choice for superscript. So what you're going to have to do is activate, probably the best way here, click that dialog box launcher from above, and then choose in the example here, subscript, just for the two. And then we'll see the two looking like that. Another feature here that you can't get to by way of the standard ribbon locations is strike through. There's a keystroke shortcut for that. It's control five. But if you didn't know that, and if you wanted to apply strike through, maybe for say these names here, here too, right click and format cells, one of the three ways we can get to format cells. And then 
on that font tab, we have a choice here called Strike Through right there. So here are some of the many features that you can get to by way of changing the font. And again, sometimes you're doing this just for particular emphasis. At other times, it does bring out the data a bit more clearly.